Hi, uh, I want to welcome everybody. I um, haven't been on uh, Facebook Live for quite a while since pre-pandemic. Um, I'm here at Sea Gallery in North Scottsdale and DC Ranch. This is my new environment, isn't it beautiful? A uh, gallery director here. I want to introduce you to Sea Gallery, um, but also want to introduce you to artist Charlene Falk. Um, she's one of the artists exhibiting here, and we also have some exciting news um, regarding um, some upcoming exhibition. So Charlene, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and um, how you started painting and your inspiration for painting. Sure, I'm a Canadian artist and um, I've been here for a couple years now. I started painting about 20 years ago and more seriously in the last few years. Uh, I'm really inspired by, I would say, nature. Um, my dream and wish constantly is to depict the unseen, the mystery of life, all of that, sort of the abstraction of it, you know, what I hear and not what I see, and that's really what I try to paint. And, and you also paint women, and there's a connection between women and nature, and share with us a little bit about that connection. Sure, I think that women and nature works together. I'm a mother, there's that creation aspect of it, of Mother Earth, of the mystery of life, all of that just really connects. And my attempt to really highlight the beauty in the world in terms of uh, what we see and, and women and that sort of meditative experience of beauty versus negativity. And, uh, and, and you can see that in my colors as well. It's, I found that in the last six months or so, I've been moving towards brighter, more happy colors that really, you know, speak to where I am or where I'd like to be at emotionally. Now, now you're, you're from Canada and uh, you think this transition from Canada to Arizona has influenced your work? Absolutely, definitely. There's a lightness that, um, you know, Canada, I love it, my favorite country. <laughs> However, um, I could definitely see and as I, you know, moved as an artist that my work um, had stronger, deeper colors and then has, I've been introducing sort of lighter colors. I don't know if that comes with age though as well. But there's also something else that we've been working on and talking a lot about as an artist for you. Um, there's a transformation going on because um, you're also looking now at, at three-dimensional and sculptural work as well, correct? Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're working on some projects in, in Old Town Scottsdale, and so. so. So tell us a little bit more about Agora Gallery. So her show is in, um, October in Agora Gallery in Chelsea in New York City. Uh, it's a very prominent gallery. Um, how did you connect with Agora? And tell us about how that became very personal and, and timely right now. So last year, Eleni, the director of Agora Gallery in New York, contacted me and I met with her. We discussed my work and she invited me to show in their gallery. And I was going to show in April, but you know, with what happened in New York and what's going on in the U.S. with the pandemic, it was canceled and it was moved to October. And since then, Eleni, unfortunately, sorry, I'm emotional about this, she's passed away. And so this experience, I've never done live and now I'm crying on live. But <laughs> it's the arts, it's allowed, it's beautiful, it's who we are as human beings. Yeah. So it's become something incredibly meaningful for me to honor her, and um, and that's part of that whole women and nature and you know the expression of the mystery of life, really. And a little background on the director: she did pass away of COVID um, in New York City. Um, so, if you want to know more about uh, the show, you can go to Charlene Falk Art Studios, uh, C Gallery. We have a link to it as well. Um, you can put it in the comments there and I'll get back to you. So Charlene, tell us now um, about your paintings behind your, specific, specifically this one here in the fields, um, or uh, the, beer hand. the beer hand one. Yeah, so this one, I'm not sure if you can, this one I think it'll follow you, yeah. Follow me? <laughs> ah, maybe it won't. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's go over here to this one. So this, so this so this one here is called A Place You Cannot See. And so this is really 
you know, this series really describes, this is one of the pieces going to New York, it really describes what it is that I as an artist am drawn to and, you know, so desire to show what we cannot see and, and to experience life and the world. There's so much that we think we see, but to look further and that's really what I do and what my intention is in, in all of my work. And, and the gallery here, so C Gallery, um, we uh, feature women artists, uh, local, national, and international women artists, to provide a platform for them. But we also have this beautiful little cafe here. I'm drinking a, a cardamom rose latte, and you're having a mint matcha latte. Um, we also have some programming coming up here. We're starting our salons in October. Um, let me just grab something really quick. So if you go to our website, um, some of the salons coming up on Thursday, October 1st, we have Dr. Christy Engabo talking about uh, COVID-101. She was actually in New York City volunteering on the front lines as a doctor. Um, so she's going to talk about her experience with COVID. On Saturday, October 3rd in the morning, we had an edible desert tasting and walk with San Carlos Apache Twyla Casadora. She's going to be talking about the edible medicinal plants here in our area and some ancestral stories. Um, and then on Thursday, October 17th, I will be doing a, a Day of the Dead 101. I will be talking about what is Day of the Dead. It's a celebration of life. How did it come into community? How long has it been around? So kind of giving uh, us a lot on those pieces. In addition to a art gallery um, where you can come in and purchase beautiful works, we also want to become an arts and culture hub. So in addition to coming in and buying a piece of art or a cup of coffee, we want to make a space where the community can come together and talk to each other and introduce each other. I always uh, talk to uh, Charlene and we, we're aligned in the aspects of everything we do has to be medicine. We have to counter the negative with the positive and stuff. So everything we do here under the C Gallery banner and roof is for those pieces. So be kind in your comments if you have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in there and I'll get back to you. Go to cgallery.com, uh, uh, follow us on Facebook, follow Charlene Falk Studios on Instagram, check us out in Agora Gallery, um, and these are C Gallery coffee chats, so these will come regularly. So you know I'm usually camera shy, but get used to this ugly <laughs> mug. <laughs> All right, over and out. Apollo, yeah. Apollo, be nice. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>